Last week we made like a major mistake a couple times with the chest of sorrow, so we're gonna have to be really, really, really careful about that chest. <laughs> we may want to just pass it by until I'm better with it, until I learn my lesson. Know what I mean? I gotta learn my lesson. Eh, get that knife out there. They do, if they're gonna have people wake up at this uh, table, they really do gotta, you know, get the the texture on that table a little more high quality. I heard, I mentioned that because somebody else me mentioned it, brought it up. Um, oh, do I wanna buy anything? I don't have any ancient coins. I can't buy anything there. I wonder if there's anything I want to buy. I'm not tracking the net worth with this pirate. Go on, so I can buy stuff me. if I want it. Oh, I will. With my cunning ability to do... Go wherever oh, wait, go the to... wind carries you. Hmm. Black market archive. Gotta find a good... Um, Pacifist. Is that? Okay. It just wasn't going. Sail and stuff to go with. Wow, this is not going quickly at all. It works with that, but the this button right here doesn't. Okay. Okay. We, I see what you're doing. Two hundred eighty-seven doubloons. Hmm. hmm. Not something we have to worry about right now. Let we'll the kind of research a little more. Find Come something that makes. When you're buying the grog. Makes him look a little bit Puritan. Um, if we get a voyage here, that should head us the other way, which is good. These, these for disabling ships, these for crates. None of those. Let's get our traditional red right now. I wonder if there's any cool cannons. What a nice figurehead. What's a nice kind of puritanical figurehead? Something that says I'm a pacifist. No, I can't get that because I can't afford it. The crab? Not the shark. Sovereign's a bit much. Good See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep it basic. We'll keep it basic. Keep things simple right now. Shipwreck out there. Get these out of here. Put those in there. Grab these. Put these up here. So I'm going to put all the cannonballs down here so that they are mainly because they're mainly for storage. That was weird. All right, we want to get all this stuff off. I don't want it on my boat. These are harmful. You can hurt people with these. I want that. Let's also unload this stuff. So that's the name of the game with this. Uh, obviously, is um, no harm intentionally. If they harm themselves, if they get hurt, that's that's them getting hurt. But as long as I'm not harming them, that is the goal. Music 
get started as well here. If anything, for me, as the people downstairs, two floors below me are blasting their music and I can hear it just barely through my headphones. It's much louder when I have them off. Kind of annoying. I think uh, well, one time they were doing it at like 12.30 in the morning. I'm like, dude, no. I am two floors above you. I should not be hearing your music at 12.30 in the morning. You don't have to turn it off. You just can't be blasting it at 12.30 in the morning. Hello. Why did I take that? I did a little revamp of the audio for the stream after listening to it uh, in the recording, so let me know if you find anything to be too loud or, you know, too soft. But I did up a lot of things because they were so soft in the uh, recording, which meant to me they were soft on stream. So I listened to somebody else's stream and then listened to mine, and I was like, oh, yeah. People are probably going to have to crank up the audio on mine to be able to hear my stuff. So I just upped it, rebalanced it. Need to do it occasionally. Well, I shouldn't uh, ignore the worms. That's one another weapon I can use is the vomit. Could save me in a pinch. Get a bucket of vomit now, in fact. Of course, we usually end up tossing it because we end up crashing and needing to bucket the water out of the ship. But... So we did close to half a million uh, last week. I, I think we can do better. Because we, we lost a lot of time to... Um, sinking ourselves with this chest of sorrows losing a grade four and a half flag having to start over was not pleasant unpleasant that was Oh my goodness. Are they squirming? Are they squirming? Or are they already dead? That's a very good question. Oh, they're living. You are so right. I can't do that. <gasps> I can't even eat worms. Okay, we'll make that adjustment. If they were dead worms, that'd be one thing. Like, I can eat dead fish. Because I didn't kill it. So long as I didn't fish it. Thanks for, thanks for keeping me honest. Down a weapon. Thanks, Polish. Oh, pacifism sucks. <laughs> Can't even eat a worm. <laughs> you saved me. Not seeing a lot of cursed cannonballs around. Usually that means, from what I understand, that there might be a lot of players on the server, which is good. I may try and steal some stuff today. See how pacifist stealing works. Because harming them emotionally is, is fine. Oops.
The thing is, I ate worms before. Do I have to start over now? I'll leave that decision to you guys. I had worms. I ate worms. Rita's the one who mentioned it to me. He said, oh, you can, what about vomit? I'm like, oh, yeah. So I've eaten worms. What do you think? Should I do a poll? Poll people say, do I have to start over completely now? I mean, I'll do it. I have no problem. I have no problem doing it. Yeah, I've already eaten them. But technically, that's harming an animal. I just didn't think about the fact that they were alive. Oh, boy. I think I have to start over. If I'm going to be honest about this, and be, claim that this is a passive pirate, reaching pirate legend without harming any animal skellies or pirates, then I have to start over. Right? Anybody? Anybody? But you kind of agree? Ugh. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> A Barth not take two. Uh, sad times. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too bad. I like this pirate. I like the way he looks. I guess I have to be out of the game in order to do that. So let me leave the game. I think I got to be honest, you know. Uh. Now we got to find um, another good pirate. That looks like a, maybe a, an abrath knot. Hey, Kastrick, how you doing? I broke my pact inadvertently, but I ate worms, so I have to start over. You basically delete your pirate. I have to choose another pirate and start over completely. I'll keep the name because it's a cool name. Or well, we're looking for somebody who looks kind of wholesome, like a like an Arbuth, Arbuth knot. You guys, let me know if you see one that you're like. I'm well. I'm very well. He's a bit rough looking. No, he's a bit rough looking too. You don't understand. I sometimes take hours in this thing. Hopefully it won't take that long. We'll be quicker. The minute I see somebody I like, I won't go, okay. That guy's not bad. He could be an Arbuthnot. He's a little strong for what I had before, but he's clean looking. No scars. He's got all his teeth, it seems. That's a contender. Need somebody who looks like a newborn babe. Oop, not that guy. Somebody who looks fresh as a newborn babe. That might be our guy. We'll, to, we'll, we'll go another couple rounds. Um, is it me or is he? Well. He's a bit bully. That guy, no. 
Because I always go in and creating these characters with a type, you know what I mean? We will start and then leave the maiden voyage so we don't have to go through all that nonsense. I may go pick up the gold, though. So I have some gold to start. Um, a couple more rounds here. Not many are speaking to Arbeth here. I wish, see, I wish you could see their teeth. That guy might be a good one. What do you guys think so far? What, have you seen anybody that... Uh... I ate a bloody worm. Somebody suggested that one of the things that I could do was nonviolent is to throw vomit. So... Rather than like... having raw chicken around or something like that. I ate a worm or two and um, was doing that. And then I, I would just realize today, uh, Polish mentioned it out to me. I mean, this one looks okay, right? He's not quite what I'm looking for, but... We'll see if somebody else pops out. That was too old. Yeah, it can be tricky. I mean, I got lucky once with uh, Jonathan Smythe and Jensen, my FOP character, and that rare actually helped me because I, I picked one, then I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I can do better. Um, I couldn't, and then I went back to rare and said, look, you can take everything else away from me. I just want that character back because he's perfect. Um, I don't know that they'll do that for me again. This guy's not bad. Oh, he's got a scar, though. I mean, I want somebody who looks like a new, fresh as a newborn babe. We'll get rid of this guy. That guy's got a scar on his cheek. He's all scarred up people. What happened to them? They're pirates or something? I mean, that guy's like... The strong version of... Oh, here we go. He's got a scar, but look at that face. We'll favorite that. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. Right now we got a thing between this. This guy's just got an unusual face. I like that face. Now go ahead, ask away. If I know the answer, I'll give it to you. Okay, we'll do two more rounds and then we'll decide based on what we have. You guys got, no, not that guy. That guy's got that. So I don't want somebody who looks too piratey. To priority. This, the reason I'd say this guy, he looks a bit aristocratic, which is okay. With the right hair and, and that, he could be fine. This guy just looks like a, you know, kind of doofy. Okay, one more. Let's let Kestrick ask his question while we're here. And if you see somebody... Say something. Is that the, how the phrase it goes? If you see something, say something. That guy is too old. Oh man, I really want a nice dumpy looking dude. Not getting any of those. What about this guy? He's got a little thing there, but 
No. You got your question? Or are you typing it out? Oh, man. I want, come on. Give me the dumpy dudes. I'm not getting any of the of the body type that I had before. Soup sales are straightforward in terms of speed, turning, etc. But Briggs and Galleons seem a little more complicated. Yeah, me too. Oh, I really wanted to feel good. <laughs> You're like, clip that. And speak body shames, people. Body shames pirates. This guy. No. He doesn't look our buffy. Yeah, they are a bit more complicated in terms of speed. I think there's the in, because you on the on the brig and the galleon you have a the main mast which is the speed mast. The big sail is the one that gives you the speed. And the others add to that and also um add to your maneuverability. If you have the back sail down on a on a brig and the front sail up, you'll be a little more maneuverable. Is that true? I think so. That's why you'll see oftentimes you'll have galleons with both back and, and uh, front sail, fore and, and aft sails up and the main mast sail up, down. It allows them a little, it's, it's minuscule, but it, it, it can make a difference. But if obviously the faster you're going, the slower you will turn. When turning with a brig, galleon, should you raise all three halfway or raise half flags all the way up? That's a very good question. I don't know exactly the answer to that because um, I mainly sail sloop. Um, obviously, if you want to turn faster, you want to raise the sails. Um, I think for people with a with a galleon, they'll raise the mainsail up to be able to turn faster because I think that's what it is. I think it's the opposite of what I said. You slow down more with mainsail down. The turning radius will be slower because you're going faster. Still not seeing any dumpies. Give me a nice... No, he's got all messed up in the face. So this is the problem with this. It's like you can look and look and look for a particular thing and, you'll, and they'll never give it to you. If you're not looking for it... Like the previous Arbuthnot was not my first choice. But then he just spoke to me. They're just not giving me. Okay, at some point I'm gonna just have to give up and choose a, a character. Here, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's got a scar on his face. No, I think if you raise all half, I don't think that necessarily helps you. I think it's probably best to raise one all the way. Depends on how fast you want to turn, you know, what your needs are. I think that's true. I Honestly, in terms of Galleon and Brig, I am not an expert on those. Oh. This guy has no teeth, though. This guy's a little ratty. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I know it's not the most exciting thing to watch, but... Somebody will come... Oh! This doesn't look like an Arbuth, does he? I'll mark him. Let me know. This guy, the blonde guy. Let me know. You can minus the hair. You can change the hairstyles. He doesn't quite look like an Arbuth knot. That guy looks like an aristocrat. That's a doable one. I think I'm going to give him up. I'm going to give him up. Huh? Oh. So the guy, if he didn't have all the scars, would be good.
He does seem like he has empathy. This guy here? Yeah, we'll keep him around for a little bit. This is a tricky thing. A lot of people just pick their pirates really quickly. I don't like to do that. Because I figure I'm going to be spending time with him. I, I gotta, he's got to fit what I want. It was just something very kind of like about the previous character that was just kind of reeked of I don't hurt people. And that's the vibe I'm going for. I wish you could also um, find all the sale mechanics in science, in science interesting. I love learning about the game and why I like watching you because you appreciate the game mechanics. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I love it as well. I I just confess that I don't know. I so rarely have sailed on a galleon and only recently started sailing brig. Um, if that guy didn't have scars, he'd be okay. Hmm. 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 Come on, we just gotta speed this up. Give me someone good. Huh? He could be. Got a scar on his cheek, though. He also has empathy. This guy looks like. This guy looks like a hippie. No, he looks like a beach bum, like he'd be a surfer dude. Like, hey, well, yeah, man. Going for the big kahuna, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ragers out there today, bro. That's kind of why I like him, but... Like, he might be a pacifist. Sometimes you got to go with the people you, you, you don't necessarily expect. Because it's easy to get locked into an image and say, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Oh, hello. He's got a scar, though, but that's exactly the other guy. Do we hold the scar against him? I mean, that guy's got a little scar as well. But that's the body type. What do you guys think? This guy? He certainly looks more like an Arbuth than this guy. Arbuth not. That could be, yeah. So what do you think? This guy? Should we go with this guy? You like him? Okay. Sold American. He's got a shovel too. Winner with a shovel. He does have all his teeth though, so that's good. So we have to do the maiden voyage, but we'll get the gold and then we'll just exit out. That's how you skip the maiden voyage. We'll get the gold so we can uh, sell some things, get, get our ship, our red sails and some clothing. He's a close enough match to the other guy. You know, thanks. I got to thank you, Polish. That's, you know, it's, it's something like that that can really would bother me later on. The fact that I did it and I had that one lingering thing of, oh, but I ate a worm. 
Because then did you really do it? Got to be a stickler about this stuff. Ah, ghost! It's a demon! Let's go get the key. You look a little worse for wear. Oh, I am on quite the journey. Gold. Gold. Get the doubloons. Those are 25 and 200. And we can just get out of here. Let's go wave to the Pyre Legend. that gun. So go sell our doubloons, uh, buy some stuff. Now let me know if the music is too loud. Like, I want you guys to be able to hear it, but I don't want to overwhelm. Certainly not my voice. Not necessarily the game, but I don't think it does. I've got some filters on it to help out with that. Uh, right, sell this. Here on this outpost. Gold hoarders, the merchant alliance, and the order of souls. Don't be fooled. These aren't the stuffy bureaucrats you're used to from the wider world. They'll yeah, pay I think if I have um, to take on work. go wherever the wind know, carries you. Sixty-five. I think if I um, uh, with the same outfit, I think. If I happen to come across raw meat, I can get the same thing. And that's already dead, but I'd have to find it on a shipwreck. Um, we want the these funky shoes here. And then we want this jacket, yes. Was it this one? I think that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go for this one, like we had for the other. Change it up later. And for a shirt. Please. So that's on. what we were doing. We were doing the um, shirt, pants, shoes. There we go. What do the royal sovereign gloves look like? Uh, 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 no. Like, I wish I had the ones like I have now, but just to, um, <clears throat> a little more basic. Just a different color. We'll go with these. 
Um, let us get a red sail. Anything you want to tell me? Our cheapo red sail. Ah, I hope I was helping. And, um, a nice fancy shovel. What can I do you for? Yeah, I think it was last. No, it might have been not even on the first day. Uh, shovel, 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 shovel. Get a nice, a nice shovel. You know. We'll treat ourselves. See ya. Uh, that's good. Okay, we'll stock up. So now we got to start over with all the. We got to get up to fifteen. Um. To start doing emissaries, we're gonna buy flags. So we're gonna lose some money today. We're not gonna make as much as we have in the past. I'm gonna have to reset my coin. Let me do that real quick. Uh, forty-four seven fifty. I'd like to spend as much of this as I can. Oh, we need some new hair. So we get some different hair. Oh, hello. Does it set my progress back as well? Probably does, my season progress. That sucks. Let's go with this for now. Let's get the facial hair out of there. Facial hair. They really should categorize these better. Oh, uh, all right then. So, hairstyles. This is not bad. Does that look quick with the chops? There we go. There we go. All right, let's get started with the day. have to do this first voyage as well or find um, there's a shipwreck around I just got to get to over five level five before this thing does its thing This time we'll head directly into the roar. Take those over that. 
Can I model one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. He looks pleasant. Know what I mean? He seems a pleasant type. I think we're just gonna not get this. We'll have to buy the voyage, otherwise, it's just gonna nag us until we do. Get these off the boat. I'm uh, doing something I'm not. Looking good. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get the screenshots. I'm gonna need to update my thumb. My thumbnail. Ooh. I thought I saw a ship over there. Get rid of these. Nope, nope, nope. Lady. Stocking up, stocking up is what we do. Bada bye, bye, bye. Oh, we need to grab the rest of these planks. Planks will come in handy. For my new game, Plank. Plank Man. It's a, it's a little plank that runs around a maze. Avoiding ghosts. Ooh, a curse cannonball. A harmless one. Getting someone intoxicated doesn't harm them. There is no liver in the game. The game does not calculate liver damage or alcohol poisoning. these up here because we use those that's just for storage to everybody who's just joining if you joined before we realized i'd made a mistake in my pacifism and had eaten worms which are alive so i was harming an animal so i had to reset my pirate i'm not happy about it but that's the way the rules go <laughs> no it's fine it's one of the reasons of doing the challenge, right? It's got to be challenging. You got to think about those things. You got to think about your actions. All right, let's, uh, I think there were some more planks over here. Let's check these for more fruit and then we'll get out of here. We'll hit the road, Jack. And we won't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. All right, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. So I have, yeah, I've remapped all my weapons uh, to not be around. Unless I hit six to do my sword, which is not the normal thing. But I can only use it, obviously, for lunging, for, for going places. Beyond that, I can't use it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go buy the voyage, which we have to buy. And we'll head to the Roar. 
And if we hopefully we get some enough chests to be able to just simply discard this. Can I interest you in some gold? Because once I buy Once I get to level five and buy that level five marker up there. Um then I should be able to uh, discard the voyage. I believe. Into the roar. That was a mistake we made the very first time we played, was we stayed out here. Which was problematic. You don't make as much money. So let's see if today we can make up what we lost. We were at 600. Oh, speaking of which, did I set my coin? Forty-four. Not earned, but set. Set the coin. Two, four, four, five, zero, and five. Four, 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 five, zero, and five. Set coin. And I'll just reset that so that when I do the calculation for how much I've earned, um, it will be accurate. Because before it was, you know, close to 700,000 in there. I'm hoping we see a shipwreck or something on the way into the roar. So we can get some loot. This server seems quiet. I'm going the wrong way. See, that's a jolly fella. Wouldn't harm a flea, or a fly, or a fox, or any other F animal, or any animal for that matter. I don't mind the scar. I think, yeah, using that as the story of, like, the result of his pacifism got him a slice on the eye. It's a, it's a nice kind of backstory, I suppose. That works for me, anyway. Doesn't have any uh, tattoos on right now, does he? No. Yeah, I like that. Right down to the haircut, yeah. I wish the they blended that better, but it's good. It's good. Oh, he does have a tattoo. Let's get rid of the tattoo. Do you really want to hurt me? You! Bastard, you. How dare you engage in such violence? No!
I like to get good, as good as Mixel at emptying a ship. I don't know if ever anybody's watched Mixelplex. Um, watching him bail a ship is like, how? He's just like crazy, like. I don't even know how he does it that quick. Maybe he does a cancel. Maybe he does a... Uh, then he has to grab it again. I'm not in a good position to do that. With my keybinds. I'll have to ask him about that at some point. I'm keeping an eye out for shipwrecks. Shipwrecks are the thing for me. Because shipwrecks have loot and all the gold to boot. Oh, I'd like a shipwreck. Okay, I'm not seeing any shipwrecks. What are people done with the shipwrecks? Come on, people with the shipwrecks. Ah, shipwreck. Lovely. I wonder if I could run this Reaper into Reapers. Put a wee boost there. What was interesting, I was like level 39 gold hoarder. And level 35 merchant and 18 reaper when uh, when we did that reset. Of course, that was after what two, two days. If we're really, really smart, we can probably get that back today. That'd be nice. I mean, we'll see, but... Should be much easier to do in the roar than in other places. Cannonball crate to sell. Lovely. Green gem. And yeah, we should be able to get up to grade five. I mean, uh, reputation. Uh, level five gold hoarders. Fairly quickly. It's 
certainly faster than doing the voyage and getting that cast away and taking it back and turning it in. So if you ever want to skip that first voyage, that's the way to do it. Get to grade five. You'll see. I mean, I think I've got this correct. I get to grade five, buy that thing, and then I can discard the voyage, and it won't require me to um, to buy another one. Kingdom for a storage crate, though. Yes, nice, nice. Nice. We might even take the keg and sell it at Merchants. It's a dangerous prospect in the roar. It might be worth it. Take it last. We'll get a couple in here. Like a uh, hateful. Save this for Reapers. Wasn't there supposed to be a... Yeah, there is. Okay. Wasn't there supposed to be a bounty chest here? I think I may leave that only because I don't want to go all the way to Reapers and have to come all the way back into the Roar. Could. Whoa, shark. Hello? Nope, nope, nope. Don't want you. Let's go down here, see if there's any. Oh, yeah. Let's go into your pockets, get this up, then we'll go and grab those two kegs. We won't harpoon the kegs because that's just danger right there. You know what? I may do that. I may run this into... Reapers, only because it's a boost and wreck, right? Take everything you can get. I'm turning that skull too. See where these gems get us. Um, all is clear. So just also realize that ancient spire is right there. Let's get those kegs on board. Because we'll sell these for merchant. I haven't even checked. I might have a, maybe I'll have a merchant uh, voyage. Normally I wouldn't have this there, but, you know, the, the outpost is right over there. Just go back to it. That was the only one. Thought there was more than one. Oh, my God. 
See, I could use that snake to get sick. I don't know if it would get me sick, though. Is the thing. I'll keep it. I'll keep it raw. In case somebody comes. How's that? That just sounds awful. Keep it raw. Why do some people make these perfectly good words sound bad? Those who go to Reaper. We'll hold on to this. Um, we'll turn these in. We'll probably end up turning in all the gems to Gold Hoarder. Well, let's go back to the outpost. at these barrels. Not the best place to store that. I don't recommend doing that at home. It's not where you want to store them, but again, we're just right here. If I got Kraken, I would go in, uh, or Meg, I'd put it up in the mast. Give me where would they go? Did they despawn? Oh, they're way over there. I don't think I'm too far away. Yep, too far away. Wait, did I it sounded like I dropped it on the Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, game. I'm not liking this weirdness. We might have to switch servers at some point if it's going to be like this. There might be a reason this server is empty. It's got weirdness. Oh, Jesus! to leave. We'll top off with this keg. Which I should just empty that crate. Just sell it. I'm just going to sell it.
Just gonna sell it. Okay, let's buy up our cool oh. hoarders. What? Oh, I gotta Just, propose it before I do it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I have to discard it. Let's figure this out. I think now I can turn this in here, though. Yeah, we can go in here. Hello. My voyages. Go here. Buy this. More gold. Now I should be able to propose this and then cancel it. Actually, no, I just need to discard it. Yeah, quests. Let's go see if we can buy voyages now. Gotta see how this works. Chests. Yeah, there we Chests. go. We're good. Yep. Much better than going and spending time going to an island to dig up a castaway chest and come and turn it in. Much better. Let's fill this cannonball crate. I think we have 50. Yeah, we got plenty. Oh, I got to get rid of those. Because I'm not going to use them. Might as well sell them. Should have grabbed the... Turned it. Wasn't thinking. Why is it doing that? I'm not... Okay. Like every time I go into that screen, it's going to something else. Power log. Okay, never mind. Let's get these off my ship. Swap it out. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's a three nanner heel. Go to Reapers, we'll turn these in. Gotta get up to 15 before we can get an emissary. Uh, 25, I believe, before we can start doing the lost, um, lost cargo runs. We'll hit that today. I am sure. We 
you can call up our website, our favorite website, the weather forecast site. Gonna be at Plunder Valley in nine minutes. Chicken Isle, smoke. Okay, so we should be good going to Reapers. Then coming back by the time we ooh, let's grab this rowboat as well. Do a quick anchor stop. See if there's anything on the beach that we can take. I bet that's a. Is that a. No, it's not. Okay. Got that Captain Skelly we can't kill? Hello. Just getting some resources. Don't mind me. Don't forget, buddy. Get a friend. Oh, he's got a gun. Uh, uh, gotta go. Ow! That hurt. That really hurt me. That was uncalled for and unnecessary. Chickens, watch out! Be careful. Got a dead Ted. Our lucky totem. Let's go before we get blundered again. Yes, yes, tutorial. I don't know how to row a rowboat. Uh, I'll get rid of those at Reapers. Perfect. Like a lucky horseshoe. You know what I mean? We got a one nanner heel. One nanner heel. Say there's nobody. I, I'm not seeing anybody. One name or heel. Over. Oh, there's a Reaper. This could be very interesting. Let's keep an eye. They may be looking like for us. I doubt at Reaper 1 they would be looking at the map. They might be. They could be just waiting there for me. In which case, good on them. We're gonna we're gonna risk it for the biscuit because why not? They're not facing that way. We'll come through the fog of the Fort of the Dam, so we're not being spotted right away. But they they may have somebody waiting there. Looks like maybe they're doing um the what you call it. What am I doing? Did they? Oh. Oh, they sank. Okay. If there's any loot in the water. There's probably a flag. We should go check it out. They were just west of Twin Groves. Yeah, we should totally go check it out. 
Because that will be something nice. We'll drive by with the um, Reaper Bounty. Hop off and then go check that area. The flag at the very least should be floating when we get there. We've got wind. Well, I bet that's what it is. They were doing the, uh, the flame heart and got tagged. Or they sacrificed their ship and are waiting at Reapers for me, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a Reaper one to lose their flag that way. But you never know. You just never know. Or maybe they quit. Who knows? By the way, sad day for them. Sad day. Let's not hit this island. It's usually frowned upon. We'll hit that shipwreck on the way back. But I do want to... Flameheart should still be over there. Once we come out of the haze. We'll leave this here and we'll turn this in as we go back. Um, I just want to do a drive-by with the, with the chest to get it off. So I'm no longer on the map. Because I can't harm anyone. I can't defend myself. If I let anybody aboard, I'm, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Wind has shifted. Let me mark on the map where I think they were. They were right about in this area here. So we'll sail through. We're probably going to take some hits from the... Because it looks yeah, like flame hearts right there. That is probably what happened. So we'll see if there's any loot in the water, if their flag is in the water. See if we can nab that quickly. Or who knows? Who knows? There were only Reaper ones, so they couldn't have gotten much from, from the Flameheart battle. Here real quick. Do 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 do. music is very much like do it you can do it go Billy go go Billy oh. yeah he's running with the reaper chest Turns it in, goes back to his ship. 
Where's his mermaid? Where's my mermaid? Oh, there it is. Oh, hello. Right there. Okay, uh, looks like he got to a captain, maybe? So we're just gonna see. Let's head over to the spot. We're almost to the spot. No, they weren't at the captain wave. We'll pass by, see if there's anything floating in the water. Grab these barrels. Grab a barrel from these barrels. For these barrels. Nice, nice. Collection of cannonballs for my cannonball collection. I collect them like stamps. See, there's a ship up there. Oh, we'll get a little haze here. Let's lower our roll a little bit. It turned in and then sank. Let's hop up and see if we can see a uh, shinies in the water. I expected more resistance. Could be like finding a needle in a haystack, though. See me. Lies the vanguard of my fleet. Spectral vessel that I have summoned from the sea of the damned. It's surely you don't expect to win. No, I expect to find somebody's loot. But it might be out of render range. Probably is closer to the ship battles, actually, to the ships. Where are we in terms of that circle? We're going to that edge of it. Southern edge of it. Turn in. I mean, probably if it's if there was loot, it's probably either on the way down or sunk already. But the flags tend to stay up a little longer. We have an opening here to come in. For a little target practice. Yeah, sure. Okay. I won't fight you. Yeah, I think we're not going to find it. And I don't want to get wrecked because I can't defend myself. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Turn. No loot. We're gonna get some hits here. No? Yes. No, stay away. Stay away from my butt, okay? Oh, that one might hit. That's gonna hit. No. Oh shoot, that's their stuff. And there's loot in the water. There's there's gold stuff in the water. We gotta go get that. Okay, okay, let's try. What are we doing? Let's get the rowboat. 
We'll get those storage crates. I didn't see a flag there. Let's row back. Yeah, no, wait. Yeah, no flag. Okay, we got their storage crates. And we'll go pick up the ghost loot. Oh, that's no good. That's no good at all. Gotta go back, fix the ship, get the ship out towards the island. Ah. Stinks for me. I stream weekends, just weekends. Because I work during the day. Okay, no serious holes. Let's get out of here before the next wave hits us. But we'll go back for these uh, two bits. We'll go in the rowboat. Hoping we'd be okay here. We'll come on the other side of the island. I want to get that ghost loot before it disappears. It's just might be just ghost storage, but it's still valuable. No damage there. No damage there. We're good. We'll also have to keep an eye on uh, that sloop at Sanctuary. Outpost. I just want to row to get that loot before it sinks. That loot stays up for a while, so but it also depends on when they sink it. One could argue, I suppose, that I would uh, not be killing anything or harming anything because these guys are already ghosts, but still, it's the, it's the non-violence part of it. I don't think, like, disabling a ship to defend myself, so long as I'm not killing people with, uh, like, shots, then that's fine. Looks like that sloop might be on the move. I'll have to be very quick. Oh yeah, they are totally on the move. You're gonna have to put this in the robot and then move out and pick it up. Taking some shots on the way. Cause they are coming. Did that ghost loot go away?
anymore. No, they're still at the post, it looks like. We might be able to salvage this if it's sinking slowly. Let's hop under and see if we see anything. I don't. Keep heading that way. That sucks. It was right here. I'm just getting started. Unless somebody's on the island and they grabbed it. But well, that boat is hey, facing out. Oh no, that sloop is definitely coming in. Stuff's gone. All right, let's get out of here before this sloop decides we're a meal. Did put their reaper flag up? Yeah, they did. Well, that sucks. Let's, where's our boat? What's over there? They're working their way around the island. We're still in the first wave, so that stuff that fell was. I think it's the first wave. It might be the third. I doubt it's the third. They didn't have any of the loot, so my guess is that those were just storage crates. Again, would have been nice to have, but not necessary. Okay, well, we'll go back. We'll stop by Reapers, drop off that skull. Then head back to the Roar. Didn't I raise my sail? I thought maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm a ninja. I look like a noob. I'm just getting started. There they are. Bit of a loss there. Waste of time. I didn't expect to see that stuff out there. Otherwise, I would have started off with a rowboat. They're swinging wide. They could be coming this way. That's what I call you as well, Flameheart. I'm glad we're on the same page. Another storage crate for my collection of storage crates. They might have been out of cannons, by the way. These storage crates might be fully empty. I expected more resistance. Yep. Yep. They are coming. Run! Run!
Oh, they're fighting them. Okay. I shall sink you in time. I shall sink you in kind. That's the first. I'd not heard that one before. So again, we'll do another drive-by with the uh, skull. So I'm gain some... Hang back. Are they coming this way? Maybe? No, they switched to gold hoarder. They were looking for their storage crates. Nope! That's a big nope from... from Paymore. Use these over here for the barrels. This we can sell at the merchant. So yeah, the only places we can sell are the Gold Hoarders Merchant and Reapers. Everything else requires violence in order to get what you want. So this is the only three factions I can do as this pirate. Up off of that shipwreck. On the way back. Shortest distance. To the ladder. We take it. Slammer Shipwreck? Shipwreck anyone? If we get more merchant stuff, I think we'll hold on to it to turn in at grade five in the roar. Because that would be the smart thing to do. I am just see I don't know how he does that. How does he get it up over that? So quickly. Ah, Nixo, what are your secrets? He is a master bucketeer. Jen, loverly. We do want to get to, actually, if we do have merch, we don't want to hold on to it. We need to get to 15 so we can get to an emissary. What am I thinking? Once we get an emissary, we'll turn the gems into a uh, merchant for now. No, 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 I don't want that. Habit. Habits. The bad habits is of the hobbitses. The bad habits of hobbitses. Ooh, meat that we can eat. Ooh, well that sucker threw me. What 
pick it up. See where it delivers. Save this for the next time we come to Reapers. Oh, we gotta unpack. Unload. We are laden. Shark. Always run to the... Ammo chest. I don't have it. Get a merchant kit in there. Risk it for the biscuit to run to the ship. Wouldn't get me. We've looked, we've taken. I'll swing by these barrels on the way as well. See what that loot is. Looks like some merchant kit. I saw a keg in there as well, though, so we have to be careful. Nope, just barrels. First two we can't do, that one we might be able to do later. We'll pick that up, you know, can't, no harm in it. Rare tea and an elaborate flagon. Let's just keep going. Let's just get going. get to 12. If we get this other stuff, let's see what this, uh, what's the Steven spoils over here? We have three. So that's 2,100 gold right there. Get that turned in. Hopefully it's not going way on the other side of the map. Hopefully it goes to, like, Plunder Outpost or to, um, what you call it? Ancient Spire or even Henry. Where's the storm headed? No! Not right now! Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Um, too bad we can't stay. Oops. that green gem though. Oh, damn it. I'm 
almost had it. I almost had the letter. I'm gonna try and take that nab that green gem off him. We'll do it in a moment. Ow! Oof. Oof. They hurt us. They are right behind us. They could technically hop off and just board them. I wish you could dock a rowboat to them. Wouldn't that be nice? They cut that way, we cut this way. I got another hole, it sounds like. The same thing we did last time. Ooh, ooh, this is no good. Come through here. Ow! You, you just stop it. You just stop. I'm gonna slide through the island and cut right. I'm gonna take it in the rear here. Take a shot on the aft. Thankfully, it wasn't a uh, anchor ball. Hello, Ashen Chest. Let's go through again. Got to dodge him. Not gonna make that turn. the island. No, let go, let go. They're going to turn around. Go back to the rocks. This is what happens when you can't kill things. I still have a hole I have to fix. That is slow, he's sinking us. There you are. committing to? What are they committing to? Going outside or in? Going out. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take a hit. It's all right. It's all right. Just 
storm able to be able to help us. I say that, but do they get sunk by the storm? Yeah, no. They can't bail. But it might slow them down. Oh, now I got a mag on me. Brilliant. Um, we may have to do Steven spoils later. Actually, we need it, don't we? Let's go over to the sea post. We'll lose that. It's too south of us. In the storm. Just to be very careful. I think we lost that skelly sloop. Nope, it's right there. But it doesn't seem to be aggroed on us. We're going to have to wait here for the storm to pass, because it might be cloth, in which case... We're going to want to be ready. Ride out this storm. 